Hello and welcome to Online Shop. In this video, we will see the admin module. In this module, we will see what are group roles, how to assign rights to the different group roles, and how to create the admin, and how to create the admin group roles and assign the rights to them. The most important point you have to keep in mind is the last one that do not give rights of super admin to any of your admin users for the security purpose. So let's get started. Okay. Now let me assume that you have hired three designers. So you need to give rights for the admin panel. Now you cannot or you should not give the rights of all the admin modules. So in that situation you should create an admin group wherein you give specific rights of the modules that you want to give to the designers and you create the admin users different users for the admin uh, designers or the hiring persons now let us create the group roles first now you will create a group role you can see there are a lot of group roles for example content manager or a store manager or SEO manager now we will create a designer group wherein the designer option will be there okay and you will be giving the specific rights to the designer mod now here you can see the different group roles now if you want to add it you can add it the group rows also from here you can add it the group rows now instead of doing that let us see how you can add a new group click on add give the group name i'll give the group name as designer group now these are the admin modules you can give the complete rights of the admin modules or you can select the specific options that you want to give for the designer role or the designer group, you should give the rights for the products. You want to also give the rights of the template. You should also give or you want to give the rights for uh, promotional messages, website themes and the complete rights of design studio. So these are the rights that you want to give to the designer group role. Now let us click on save and back. Now you have created the group roles as designer. Now as you can see the green portion is showing that you have given the rights of these modules and the grey modules which this group has no rights. So this will be displayed in the admin panel of a person using this group and the modules will not be displayed. Now we have created the group. Now we will create a user for this group. Now let, us, let me assume that new user has been joined as a designer and you want to assign the role of a designer. So here you go in there and click on add now select the group you can select any of the group since he is joining as a designer you have to select the designer group the name is David the password I give 1234 email is david at the rate question2.com and as I said in previous that you should not give this right of super admin okay so would you like to do that absolutely no so please enable this option let us create the admin user Okay. So Roger is the new person who has joined 
and he has been assigned the design role. Now let me log out from this super admin and let me log in as Roger. So here Roger and the password is 1234. The link that you should provide to Mr. Roger is the same that you use for your login. Click on admin. So you are so Roger will log in in this way and he will have the rights of the options or the modules that you have provided in the designer view. So this way you can create the designer roles and user ID or the Now if you want to edit or add some new roles or new options then also you can do it. You can go to action and click on edit and you can add or remove the options from the from here. So this way you can add, edit or remove the admin users. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Have a nice time. Take care. Bye bye.